The following segment is sponsored by Ward MD Facial Plastic Surgery and Form Derm Spa. We are so excited to have Dr. Ward back in the studio with us today. He is a local plastic surgeon and always gives us great information. Dr. Ward, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back. And you have brought a guest with you today. Tell us who this is. I have. This is Dr. Iorio. So I am a, a fellowship director, one of the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Fellowship Directors, which is uh -huh. kind of a prestigious thing. We're the only fellowship between Texas and California. And Dr. Iorio is our fellow for this year. Well, We're so excited to have her here. Dr. Iorio, it is so nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. What got you into plastic surgery? What made you think, oh, I really want to do this as a career? So I actually wanted to be an ear, nose, and throat head neck surgeon, which is what Dr. Ward and I both are since I was 16. And then I specifically gained my interest in plastic surgery, facial plastic surgery, during my first year of medical school. I was shadowing actually a female ENT facial plastic surgeon and we did our first rhinoplasty or a nose job and it's just the meticulous nature of those surgeries and minor minor changes change the dramatic appearance of the face and that's how I got into that and that's specifically why I chose to go into ENT facial plastic surgery. There you go and you've been interested in this since you were 16. Yes. That is amazing. Talk to me about what a fellow is and what a fellowship is. So a fellow is someone that's in their finish their all of their training. Mm -hmm. So you go to your four years of undergrad, your four years of medical school, your residency training, depending on what field that may be, medicine versus surgery, we're surgeons, so we did a surgical residency. And you can be done then. You can hang mm -hmm. a shingle, start your own practice, or if you want to get more detailed oriented surgery in a subspecialty, you can do a fellowship. So I'm a fellow. So this is a totally volunteer year uh -huh. for me to get extra training from Dr. Ward and learn mm -hmm. his expertise in the specific field of facial plastics. And you talked about extra training. Why is education so important? Well, I think it's important because it's, n number one, you need to be the very best. Like, it's a, it's a huge commitment to be a surgeon, to be a physician, and take care of patients. They're putting their total trust in you. So it's important you want to be your very best to be able to provide that best care. And you, you want to make sure that there have never been any shortcuts taken, mm -hmm. that you can be your very best. And I think that's kind of the commitment that Dr. Iorio is is showing. That's what she wants to be. She could go do her own thing, but she wants to be the very best she can. There you go. You both are the very best, honestly. And you're always on top of trends. You were talking to me a little bit about how plastic surgery trends are kind of shifting. Can you talk to me a little more about that? Yeah, so it's crazy. Over the past 15 years, mm -hmm. the number of plastic surgeries performed in the United States has doubled. Oh, the wow, number of non-surgical <laughs> procedures has increased by 15 times. Yeah. So a huge increase. And I think what we're seeing now is a little bit of a recognition that surgery actually has better results, which we've always known. Surgery uh -huh. always has better results than non-surgical -surg techniques. Uh -huh. But the recovery sometimes isn't any worse. So okay. I think there's a little bit of a shift back towards surgery because people realize like, oh my gosh, I can put you know all this filler in my face or do all this or mm -hmm. that, which we offer and we're happy to do. Uh -huh. But sometimes like the recovery with a facelift is just a tiny bit longer and you get such a dramatically improved result, for example. There you go. There you go. So if there's someone out there who wants to meet your team or be part of this program, what do they need to do? Well, there's lots of different ways. You can look yeah. at for us on social media, Ward MD or Form Durham Spa is great for like Instagram or TikTok. But we have this really amazing anniversary event. This will be our sixth year after Yay. I left the University of Utah to be full-time practice on my own. And we're celebrating it October 3rd from 4 to 8 p.m. It's really that whole week we're having specials, things like free Botox for a year, laser so giveaways, excited. thousands of dollars of giveaways. We're so excited to celebrate. Perfect. Well, thank you both for being here. We've loved having you. Thank you. Thank you.